It was a big send-off from Aiden Carter's hometown of Stratum on New Year's Day. His family flew to the West Coast so Aiden can take part in a six-month clinical trial for Hunter Syndrome. Their first stops, the beach and the San Francisco Zoo, where someone smashed a car window and stole Aiden's backpack. Inside, his laptop, action figures, books, and his beloved cookie monster. I can still see him as... The thing he was when I got him, um, my sister was born. He's had the stuffed animal since he was a little boy. Last night I was sitting in my bed crying. And I kept, <clears throat> sorry, I, I kept repeating myself. He has to come home, he has to come home. Cookie Monster was going to come to the hospital every week with us when we start this clinical trial. Aiden gets an infusion every week for 48 he, he hours. He always there with me, by the way. He's always sitting next to me. The backpack is black with a gold ribbon and a jaguar on it. It also held his hearing aid transmitter, but Aiden is still Zooming with his 7th grade class back in New Hampshire with his younger sister and brother helping. I try to, you know, help him as much as I can. We're just hoping that somebody finds his backpack and Cookie's sitting in there and and they can be reunited. Aiden's mom is the president of Action for Aiden, the nonprofit created to cure Hunter syndrome. His dad and puppy will join the family in California soon, and hopefully Cookie Monster will also find his way home. Any help that we can get to find Cookie Monster um, to help us through these next couple of months is really appreciated. Jean Mackin, WMUR News 9.